but I'm strongly getting they're, tr they're going to try to donate you, donate to you, whatever you have. I'm strongly picking up on a platform. You don't have to have a platform. Maybe you have a fucking shop or something. I don't know. Um, but you definitely could be a tarot reader. You don't have to be. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and the ones that passed away. Alliance. This whole alliance is going through. Like, wh whoever did this ritual, this whole alliance that is doing this ritual, they're all fucking done. And they're caught, too. Doing some fucking heinous shit. They, they aligned with your, um, some sort of soulmate of yours. They're all going to prison. And you've been liberated from this shit. They're praying. They're now starting to pray. Um, they have some sort of good luck and fortune about a house. Maybe they they robbed your house. They could have stole your a house from you. Someone's name could be Rob, Robert, Roberto, Bob, Bobby, Roberto. Um, yeah, someone's going to prison though. Maybe for taking this bribe for stealing a home from you. While wow, you're getting good luck and fortune, something about a house. They're trying to daydream of some sort of strategy, but they realize it was all a fucking a trap. Because there's a lot of evidence here. There's a lot of evidence about how stubborn they are, and God stopped all this shit. There's so, look, this is all the evidence right here. Like, look at all that overloaded with evidence. And you're going to sue the balls off these people for what they did to you. They caused you some sort of danger accident. There could be even somebody that gets into a vehicle accident or something. Could have crashed into a home or something. They could have stole a house and a car from you or some shit. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, answer. thank you. Yeah, commitment to death. Oh, shit, bitch, look at this. They're bound to death. Because this was this death ritual they did. They're bound to some sort of natural disaster, some loneliness, isolation, and death. It was a death ritual. And I'm telling you, it was a sacrifice. They sacrificed either an animal, um, animals, all right, or worse. Or could even be worse. I don't want to say the words, um... They could have. They could have sacrificed. Um, it, they sacrificed something during this ritual, and they're being recorded doing this. And it's like on. It's either like either on some sort of recording that their dumbass has recorded, or they're being watched. And there was, you know, the cows was tapped, or, you know what I mean, their, the house was, you know, already bugged, or their their phones were tapped, or they could have been at a cemetery doing this. And, like, there was cameras in the cemetery, or in the trees, or something, or they had, like, a, um, they had, uh, what's it called? What, um, drones, or something. They were being watched doing this, this sacrificial death ritual. And they're going to prison for this. They're trying to do some sort of binding magic on you. Somebody contracted something, some sort of illness. That was meant for, like, they, they, it was meant for you, like, they went to get, they wanted you to have this illness. Like, it was never meant for you in the first place, I mean, just make that very abundantly clear. But their intentions were to, um, for you to have this illness. They contracted it, and they, they, they did some sort of sacrificial ritual, um, with either animals or, um, or worse. They were trying to put you up as a sacrifice. They're scared to death now, because... No, whatever, they, they, it's, just, it's this alliance that's now bound to fucking death. And they're also being recorded. Like, the ones that, there are some people are passing away. Two people could possibly pass away. But, um, this might be from the other night. Remember I was telling you in the reading yesterday? That's probably why we were fucking sleeping so damn much. Um, that's why I was sleeping so damn much yesterday, but... 
There could be four people that passed away. There's four roses here. Yeah, but there's people passing away. Um, you might find out. I feel like somebody already passed away. It's been illuminated. All Everything that was done in the dark has come to light. And I'm telling you, there's something about recordings. There's something that either they, re their dumbasses recorded it, and it was to be, it was meant so that it would be, um, either they're just really fucking dumb and they thought it was cool, and they wanted to record the shit, or, um, they're just really fucking dumb or they it was recorded because they wanted it as like you know leverage to hold over these people but then the house got raided or was about to get raided and they're getting caught up with it it's something about these hard drives and um uh or like the authorities were already on to them had cameras because they've been watching these scumbags and they put cameras in like the the trees or they put like they have a drone out there they have cameras on on gravestones i'm picking up like this this cemetery could have been um like a run down cemetery or like it was like you know old cemetery or something it could even be a pet cemetery or some shit This is really sad. Like, this is fucking... I don't like this energy, man. Oh, shit. Somebody could be passing away from A to the I to the D to the S. Look, see how it... It went right over... Um, like I said, somebody contract... Like, con contracted something that they wanted for you. Um, it could take them out. It could be AIDS. Their, their mask has come off. And guys, let me just make this very abundantly clear. Okay, this is knowledge that everybody needs to know. If somebody, if somebody gives you a uncurable disease, okay, if the person who knows, this is something everybody needs to know. If the person that gave you this uncurable disease knows they have this disease and they sleep with you and they do not make you aware of this fact, that is, um... Uh, attempted manslaughter, all right, you will get, um, or it's, what's it called, fuck, um, someone's last name could be Horn, um, involuntary manslaughter, there you go, okay, yeah, so, I was in jail with this girl back in, like, 2012, I think, maybe 2011, she, um, very nice woman, um, I didn't believe what she was in there for. I asked her one day, I said, what, what, what are you here for? I don't want to say her name uh, out of her, you know, protection or whatever. Um, I was like, what are you here for? And she was like, you know, she's like, I ain't ever going home. I was like, well, quit playing your whole life. And she was like, no, no, for real. Um, and she told me what she was there for. She was a prostitute. She was, she had AIDS and she was a prostitute down in Philadelphia. Such a nice woman too. Um, and she knew she had it and she was still tricking and i don't know and she said that she slept with this one of her johns somebody the name could be john one of her johns was married and he he ended up getting this you know what i mean he went back he gave it to his wife they went for her checkup or whatever it was they found out that he you know so she found out her husband was cheating on her with this with this woman and I don't know if she got picked up, if, like, if, like, you know, that he came clean. I, I forget what, what, what it was, because it was back 2011, 2012, something like that. She was already in her, like, I think, like, mid-40s, late-40s, and she, but she had this, you know what I mean? Um, and she had it for a while, she said. So, and she ended up getting, like, it was involuntary manslaughter. I think it was, like, 20-some years. She's still in prison right now for it. But I don't know if it's, like, she got picked. Because she did get picked up while prostituting. So I don't know if she got picked up during prostitution and they had they found out. There's another thing, guys. Um, they found out somebody could be prostituting with this. 
with 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 AIDS. But like then I don't know if it was because of him because she was telling me about him. But I don't know if it was and she told me about how he him and his wife you know that whole thing. Um, but I don't know. But she did say she got picked up while prostituting. Um, but she had this. Now if you're hello you you had this right and you're prostituting you know you have it you're 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 sleeping with people with it and she ended up getting involuntary manslaughter um and i don't know if maybe like she got already picked up for that so she was getting involuntary manslaughter then the, the husband that she one of the johns that she was sleeping with came forward um and other people started to come forward too she ended up getting a lot of time like she's never getting out of prison she's never going to because she was she was already in her like mid to late 40s um and then she had this, you know, she had it for a while, um, you know what I mean, and the, so about the time that she got, because it was at least that one person, if not more, plus whatever, whoever she got picked up doing that, the, the tricking to, you know what I mean, but, um, yeah, so that's, it's very important for you to know, guys, and, it's like, when they, it, you know, you go to the doctors, you find out you have this, they, they put it, it's in your, it's in your fucking, your medical records, and then, so, you know, when, um, you know when then when you find out you have it then they're gonna ask you who the fuck you you've been sleeping with because it's by law you have to contact everybody you slept with and let them know so that if they have it you know so, so that they, they know if they can have it so yeah if just so you know be very honest if you find out that you have this be very honest about who you slept with um and it's it's involuntary manslaughter and you get at least 20 years for that for you know and now let alone if you're prostituting with it every person is attempting um uh, manslaughter or is manslaughter for each person because you're taking their, their their will to live you're giving them uncurable disease just like if you have an uncurable disease even if like and you spit on somebody you're and you know you have that you're that's you're 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 risking the fact that um someone with hepatitis somebody could have hepatitis c but nowadays that's curable hepatitis c is curable um but I'm really picking up on the AI to the D to the S. All right. And their mask, whoever was, whoever has this, their mask is ripped off. It's come to light. It's come to light. Their mask is off. They're scared to death. Somebody could have been lying, saying that you had that when you don't. And they're the ones that really have it. It could be an internal love. They could have tried... They could have lied and said that you gave it to them. No, the fuck you did not. You don't have no illness. They could even tried like they're wondering how you don't have it because, like I said, they were trying to put some blood or something in your in your drink, or they could have slept with you or something. Um, but you didn't. Ha they didn't have it when they slept with you. They caught that after after, and that's why it was so important for you to to walk away. That's why God pulled that mask off of this eternal love that you had super quick because he knew what this person was sleeping with and you know what I mean what what they were doing and um that's why God pulled that mask off real quick and told you to get the F out the way somebody's that somebody's gonna be passing away from this but then I strongly feel and it's either they are they slept with you and they're wondering why you don't have it it's because you they didn't have it when they slept with you or you're just extremely way too protected and the person that, that gave it to them, I feel like they knew they had it. Now, they could go to the doctors, and like I said, anybody, anybody that finds out they had this, be very honest with the doctors who, like, who you were sleeping with. One, it's the law. Two, like, you know, like, hello, it's only the moral fucking thing to do. Like, other people's lives are at risk here. You need to be honest with this. And this way, this way, if whoever, you know, when you give that list, you know, whoever it is, because what the lady that, that had it, that, that was explaining it to me, and they said that they had to ask, like, they had to contact, because they were asking her, like, well, who called you sleep with? And she said, God, I don't fucking know. She was a prostitute. Um, and that's why she got so much time, too, is because she was, you know, there's so many people's lives at risk that she was prostituting with it. You know what I'm saying? But um, somebody could definitely be prostituting with this. And she was a nice woman, too. I would have never expected that from her. But, um... But that's why they ask you, because then they have to, and then when they, they go through that list, they see, oh, well... What do you mean? You slept with, with, with John Doe. John Doe, someone's name could definitely be John. John Doe, they had this since like 19, whenever. Well, Mary Jean, what? Mary Jean been had this since so-and-so, you know what I mean? So, somebody could be smoking Mary Jean, somebody could be smoking a lot of weed. But, um, 
they could have tried to lace your weed too if you smoke weed be very mindful of that guys be very careful all right somebody's lacing something but they're gonna they go through that list and then when they find out yeah they're gonna arrest that motherfucker they're gonna arrest that motherfucker for sleeping with you without letting you know and their mask is being ripped off now they're scared to death and that is involuntary manslaughter it's good information everybody needs to know The robbery is robbing their life. I'm telling you right now. Their life is being robbed from this. And it's due to, and they're bound to it. Yeah, look, they were trying to have you bound, right? They cursed themselves. But now they're getting an idea to try to gain something to compromise. They might be trying to fucking bless you with a lot of money. They're stressed out. They promised. It was a live and, it was a live and learn lesson, though. Now their goal is to love themselves now. Have some sort of self-love. Okay? But they're a little hesitant. Someone's name could be Rob. Rob. I already said that. But they were trying to dominate you. Now they're bound to do this. They curse themselves. Dumbasses. You triumph through whatever this is, and you're going to. Merit making, you're a very moral loving person. They're trying to get in this eternal love, is now trying to align with you, okay? They're trying to get their merit making. They're coming forward with how they were bribed to do this to you too. Because again, whoever this is that has this, they're going to prison for the fucking rest of their life and they know it. Because they're going around sleeping with people with this, knowing that they had it. But whatever death ritual they sent you through the sacrifice the sacrificial death ritual um you you triumph through whatever this was because you're a very moral person and that's another thing they're like well how come you because you don't sleep around you don't get passed around you ain't no hoe i ain't no hoe bitch what the fuck's wrong with you they did this to get initiated in something plus you pass some sort of um initiation a dark night of the soul, possibly. Mm-hmm. They got initiated. They did this. They get initiated into something very dark. Okay, something very dark. But now they're the ones that has the supernatural disturbance. They're scared to death. They're living a nightmare. All right. Now, and whoever coached them to do this is pissed the fuck off. It could be your own damn family, your own fucking family, or people you consider to be family, or it could have been their own family that fucking did this. It could have been their own family that gave them this. What the fuck? Now they're getting ready to bully your fucking friends because now whoever whoever they they were they were engaged with that was taking this bribe and everything else, they're now the the, the tables have been turned. Okay, you're okay. Now they're coming in to support you because they want to persevere through all this bullshit because they remember you. They have all these memories of you being this loving, supporting, caring, nurturing person. Now they're overindulging in fucking um in in drugs and alcohol and they want to apologize, but they're still in their ego. Somebody needs to get a collective. Um, if you have like, you know, a few dollars, get yourself a ZZ plant. I don't know why this is coming to me, but it's coming to me very strong. Um, get a ZZ plant because I feel like somebody is putting something in your house. It could be they could be pumping something into your house. It could be um, carbon monoxide. Get a ZZ plant. I have a ZZ plant I showed you before. It's um, it's called Z. Z, like the two, like the very last letter of the alphabet, the Z, like a Z as in zebra, Z as in Zach. Um, you know, get it, it's called a ZZ plant. It's also, um, they call it a money tree and also a karma tree. All right, it looks actually like this, it kind of looks like this. I have it, you know, it, it, it looks like this, sort of. Okay, it's a green, it's a green plant. I showed you this before. I have it, um, um. It, they're very good for they they suck up carbon monoxide now if you have issues with plants and they're dying it's because of this carbon monoxide um wh or whatever they're pumping into your house zz plants my left ear is ringing okay i don't know why i'm being strongly urged to, to have you if you're in your house and you're getting lightheaded out of nowhere you're getting tension headache you might even hear i was having an issue at my apartment right and, and like i would have cactuses that were dying and i take care very good care of my plants very good care um 
of my plants but it was because of carbon monoxide but then all of a sudden when i got my zz plant all right um and this plant just starts flourishing it's also a karma it's a karma and it's also a, it's considered a money tree too there's there's a couple of different money trees but this one is a zz plant very important for you to get all right and i'm being like it's your ancestors whoever this is is coming through is being very like they're pushing this issue so if you have like 10 or 12 dollars maybe 20 dollars i don't know um when i bought mine at walmart it was at the end of the year like right before winter started and i got it from walmart for like 10 10 or 12 bucks sorry but whenever i go to the store i like whenever i buy plants i always try to buy ones that are like that are like sick because i try to bring i always bring them back you know what i mean um i gave them to love and in our you should see my plant now it's huge it's fucking ginormous and it's very healthy but um it sucks in the carbon monoxide and, and it actually it it like thrives off of carbon monoxide somebody needs to get a, either one or a couple of those plants because they're, they're pumping some sort of carbon monoxide in your house but it also <gasps> confirmation excuse me you need to get a zz plant if you can they're very easy to take care of they're very good um just be mindful if you have any small animals um make sure you have your plant up okay because it shouldn't be around small animals especially in the summer because in the summer when it's really happy very healthy it'll start to sweat it'll be it'll, it'll sweat like but that's meaning that it's healthy don't wipe the sweat off okay that's actually you know that's that's your plant telling you they're extremely healthy they're extremely happy all right they don't just water them whenever the whenever you stick your finger in the dirt and if you like you, you stick it down to like here you know and you get that much in and if it's all dry from that much then water them again um it depends on where you're at in the world and the temperature like they're very easy to take care of though okay but um you need an easy plant or a couple of easy plants you'll notice a difference too and if you ever hear that noise in your house or your apartment and all of a sudden you're getting a light headache you're getting a tension headache it's from the carbon monoxide or whatever they're pumping in your house you'll notice you'll go outside and you'll get a lot more clearer check any holes you have in your house if you have any holes um in the floors or in the floorboards or um by your windows or air conditioner vents or like where your air conditioner is somebody's pumping some sort of um something into your house you are protected but still just so you know be very mindful of this get a z z plant okay they're beautiful gorgeous plants they're just green they look like this they look like that and uh, they're beautiful um hold on let me show you mine hold on a second okay so here she looks and she's really big but i'm just trying to show you like what it looks like it looks like this but I, it's huge you know what i mean but um here's a bit smaller but you know it's just a huge plant but like when i got it it was like the size it was so small when i got it but i've had it f um since like the beginning of winter like right before winter started but um it's really she's really big now i named her karma <laughs> but it also helps you bring in karma good karma see this is what it looks like but there is just here i don't know how to really show you this but it's just one big green plant but be very mindful too if you are sense if you have sensitive skin you don't want to um let it touch your face okay i don't have sensitive skin but if you have sensitive skin just wash your hands when you're done touching it um and and talk and breathe to your plant okay because it's it sounds weird sounds crazy but actually um whatever it is in in your oxygen like the oxygen in your in your breath okay it, it actually um you can look it up yourself okay you you don't have to really talk to it you can just breathe on it or whatever but you can like sing to it talk to whatever you want to do but it actually um it helps it and also like i said with the carbon monoxide okay as you can tell she's very very healthy but um but like yeah sometimes it, the color the the leaves will change a little bit of color just be mindful when they're like the light color like this light green because there's different shades of them when they're like this light color like you can see she's like budding okay she's budding right here when they're like the lighter green this light green right here be mindful um they are sun sensitive you don't really need much sun at all just make sure you have it um it's not out in the sun too long especially the lighter green ones because they're very sensitive to the sun all right so you don't want it in direct sunlight for too long um you don't even really need it to be in the sun because once it gets in the sunlight for too long it'll burn um especially the lighter ones the baby are like these ones are you know it's like the baby ones right here the lighter green um and you know like just they're very easy to take care of they're very easy 
beautiful plants very good to have extremely good it attracts wealth um and and karma as a good karma for you that the more it grows the more they you know the theory is it's like it's still it's it's a money tree it's one of the money trees um there's different kinds of money trees though it's not the one like the like i don't know really how to i can't really there's it's too this plant's too big to get it underneath here but it's not the ones that has like the the woody bark at the bottom it's all green it's like the whole the whole base down to the bottom is this like you know what i mean it's like this the same green it's not um but they're beautiful plants they're very good to have okay very very good to have um and if you're if you have sensitive skin after you're touching them um and everything you just make sure you wash your hands um don't let it touch your face okay oh she's starting to sweat a little bit good but um yeah because you can break out if if and don't allow it to be around animals especially in the summer and especially if it's beating and sweating okay so you want to keep it up so that um your animals won't because they can get sick from it if they lick the 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 juices off of it so just be mindful of that all right let me put it away before clyde's little buddy ass comes in here <laughs> hold on a second guys All right, yeah, so sorry, guys, it, but I don't know, your ancestors, it's somebody in the collective, your ancestors being very prone on that, you need a ZZ plant. And if you have the money, if you have the finances to be able to get um, more than one, I would, okay? And you'll notice, too, if you have other plants and if you had an issue with them dying, it's either A, because of, I guarantee you, it's from the carbon monoxide or whatever they're pumping into your house, but again, a ZZ plant, um, you know it feeds off of that like it, it, it's actually very healthy um my at my apartment you should have seen how quick that shit was growing is because they were i remember my neighbor he used to be my best friend um found out that he was like one of my biggest enemies uh he came over my apartment one day right and i don't ever have anybody over but he was my next door neighbor and um you know like he came over or whatever um and he's sitting he's sitting on my couch and he was like misty what's that noise i hear a I was like, yeah, I know. I was like, watch, you're probably fucking falling asleep or whatever. Uh, I was like, I, I was like, if you get tension, I was like, you want to leave? And all of a sudden, next thing you know, he's fucking passed out on my couch. And I was like, yo, bro, we got to go. Let's go. And it's because of that. But I was just so used to it. You know what I mean? I'm, and I'm just so fucking used to it. But it's from somebody pumping some some shit. But my plant was taking, like, you just seen how quick that shit grew at, at, grew at my house. And, like, um, at my apartment. But, uh, you know and it's, it's because of that but you would hear a s and all of a sudden you get a tension headache you know uh you, you start getting lightheaded when you're standing up i would hear people underneath because my apartment like it was at a hotel but i used to work there they have a they have apartments in, in like the back row is apartments and um you know i was there for five five years five or six years something like that and on they have tunnels speaking of underneath the fucking place that place is creepy dude that place is so fucked up there's so much going on in that fucking place it's disgusting it's creepy and i'd hear people underneath out all the time and there's not supposed to be an upstairs but there is there's like an upstairs and you hear people upstairs like in the odd here like i have a bug detector which you know a bug detector is like you know for hitting cameras and it beeps and you can hear somebody was always late at night walking upstairs because they had these like um these Dude, I went up in the in the hotel park when I was working there. Um, my my ex John, who passed away, God rest his soul. Um, yeah, he believes he 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 had a room that has this fucking crawl space, like in the in the closet part. And I was like, bro, have you ever gone up there? And he was like, yeah, man, it's fucking creepy go up there. Like, I was like, I don't know. We opened it up. I looked up there, dude. This place, like, you, I figured it was just gonna be like a small crawl space. Fuck no, it's not. It was so creepy. We looked up there, and there was, you can literally stand up there and jump, and like, you know, you won't hit the ceiling. And I looked all the way to the left in, in this room, and there's a fucking doorway. Now there's an apartment on the other side, and I've been in, like, in the upstairs above the office, and there's a, there's an office in, like, I mean, there's a, an apartment up there, a very big one. Um, and I, and I've been in the whole apartment from when, you know, my buddy that used to work there, he don't work there no more. Um, from when we both used to work there, he lived up there and, you know, I had to clean up there before too. Well, I cut my finger. He came and put that, that tumic, tumic or whatever on my cut. And, um, I was like, wow, it's nice up here. And he's like, yeah, check it out. Check out the apartment. I checked out the apartment and there was no, like where this door went to and from Johnny's room, 
And I looked, I was like, where the fuck is this hole? What is that doorway to? And then John was like, yo, Missy, there's eyes. We looked over and there were these fucking creepy ass little eyes looking at us. I was like, oh, fuck no. <laughs> I jumped down real quick. <laughs> But then, like, on the, the other side, like, where the apartments are, where my apartment is, there's not supposed to be an upstairs. There's an apartment on the other side, like, across from the, there. But there's, I hear people up there all the time, like, all the time. And underneath of it, too. And when I worked there, I went into the basement the one time. Well, I went, I went, um, <laughs> I, where we put our, our fucking carts at, there's, like, these steps that go down. And I thought the maintenance guy was down there. So I went to go clock out. And I went to go lock a door, and the maintenance guy came into the office. I was like, oh, shit, yo. I was like, I almost just locked you down, um, locked you inside. And he was like, what are you talking about? I was like, my bad. I was like, I was about to lock you in, lock the door up. And I was like, but then I heard you down in the basement. He acted real fucking weird. He's like, what basement? There's no basement. I was like, bro, right where I put my car at. Yes, there is a basement. And, um, but it's tunnels, dude. It's fucking tunnels. Because my ex, um, I don't want to say his name because I don't have his permission, but my, my ex came over and a friend of ours had the room there and he, he, I needed him to help me grab, like he was picking her stuff up. So I had him come in the back to help me grab the, the grab her stuff that she left at her, at, at her room. And, um, I hurt my back. So I asked him to come help me and he did. And I was telling him, I was like, dude, these fucking tunnels, dude, like, I don't know. I've never been down there. And like, you know, the maintenance guy got real weird, tried telling me that there was no basement or nothing. I just thought it was like where the water pumps are and shit. And like, you know, the heat, uh, no, they're straight fucking tunnels, dude. And, uh, and I was like telling him about it, my ex about it. And I was like, yeah, bro, it's fucking creepy. And he was like, we'll go down there. And I was like, should I? I was like, fuck it. Let's just go down there. Like, and nobody said nothing, right? But they have to, there's, that whole place is fucking, is, is, that place is going down. I'm telling you right now, that place is going down. But I go down to the steps and I seen it. Dude, it's so fucking creepy when I tell you this place. They need to, yo, Fed, you need to check that place out, okay? That place has got some really fucked up shit going on down there. Um, and there's straight tunnels, and then the maintenance guy comes running back, what are you doing down here? Mind you, I worked, I was working there, you know what I mean? I worked there, and, I, and he didn't say nothing, but until I went down that, into, like, the tunnels part, which he tried to tell me there was none. No, there is. Then my neighbor, he went down there, I don't know, he's, he does, he does some shady shit, but he just told me that there was all types of weird shit down there, like, he actually went in, went in, um, and he was telling me some weird shit, like, weird, weird shit, weird shit. I don't know, that place is going to fuck down. There's something about tunnels. There's a place going down, that's all I know. Yeah, Feds, check that fucking place out. They already are, though. They're already on them. Confinement. Someone's going to prison. They're bound to whatever this death ritual was, too. We have promise. Okay. This came next, and then this. Okay. Yep. We have confinement. Followed by saving. Followed by stress. And followed by promise. Yeah, and that place they used to follow me all the time, shit, dude. They know what everybody's doing. They got cameras in everybody's fucking houses and everybody's rooms and shit in their apartments. They're fucking creepy, dude. That place is going to fuck down. But now they're going to they're going to prison that no not only that, someone's passing away. There's people passing away, but there's someone going away because like I said, there's some sort of cameras or some sort of footage of this death ritual, the sacrifices that were done. And they paid a lot of money for these rituals too. Whatever this ritual was, somebody might be trying to donate to you, like I said, because their mask is off. They had to spend a 